Okay, are you recording? Don't stop recording like you did last time. Yo, what's up? So today we're going to be talking a little bit about inspiration. I'm going to put a little animation here that goes inspiration. A fellow YouTuber of mine who I've collabed with before, you might know him as AK the Jellyfish. He made a tag video where it was like, who's your style inspiration? Who's your hair inspiration? Um, what's your favorite accessory? How would you describe your style and your hair? He actually does some really awesome hair stuff. So if you want to check out his channel, his link will be in the description bar. But because of that video he made, he kind of inspired me to make my own video where I kind of expanded on who inspires me um, hair wise and also style wise. I've always kind of been into like fashion and aesthetics and like looking nice and stuff but I haven't really explored it a lot until this year so I don't know I just thought I'd share with you guys who inspires me to look like this. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll start with uh, fashion first. I'm the type of person who gets really inspired by like everything. Most of the time I get inspired by uh, people on the streets actually. When I see someone wearing like a cute outfit or something that I think would look good on me, sometimes I'll like stare at them. If you do see me on the streets and I'm like giving you that death glare or I'm like taking a picture of you on my phone, it's not because I'm like a weird creep, it's because you have really nice clothes and I want them. And I don't usually just do this for guys, sometimes girls as well I'll also do that too. It's not specifically about the clothes that they're wearing, but it's more like um, how they wear the clothes and what they match together and like the colors that they chose. I like to get inspiration from that. Another place I really like to get inspiration is either on Instagram or Tumblr. If you actually look at who I follow on Instagram, it's honestly a lot of people from Korea. I don't know, I feel like Koreans have a style that I can um, relate to maybe. Maybe I dress closer to them so that's why I think they dress really nice. I really like outfits that are very simple and easy to put together and I'm also very into that aesthetic on like Tumblr and stuff where it's like black and like sporty and monochrome. Most of the time I usually like to wear darker colors because bright colors scare me sometimes. Except for today I'm wearing like a white blue shirt. Um, give me a second. Ugh! That's better! I didn't just put this on because I was scared of the shirt, I just was really cold. So a brand that I really like to follow fashion wise is actually American Apparel. I find that they have really simple and basic clothes and I really like that style. And I find that a lot of people who do wear their clothes, like the models or just people who represent their brand, they just seem very comfortable in the clothes. So that's what kind of draws me into that brand. I'd really love to work for that store and every time I go into that store I kind of cry because all the clothes are so nice and I want to buy everything except no money and so expensive. I wish I was one of those people who treated money as like water and could just see money as nothing. K-pop is actually another thing that really inspires my fashion sense. I'm trying to think of people on the top of my head. I think Key from Shiny, he has a really good sense of style. I find that I get really inspired by what he wears. Actually, I think this shirt I saw him wearing so I tried to find something like this. <laughs> he wore something like this on his Instagram and I was like, I kind of want that shirt. I'm gonna buy something that looks like that. There's also this girl group called Lovelies and I find that their style is very, very interesting and adorable. They kind of have that schoolgirl vibe but it's modernized and I find that they do a really good job wearing very like simple clothes that are matched well together such as just wearing like a simple top and then wearing like one of these big black heavy jackets on top and wearing uh, simple pants and like white adidas shoes. That's an outfit that I wear a lot. And another thing that I tend to get inspired by is actually anime. Sometimes the guys in the animes are wearing super simple and easy to wear clothes and that's my style and sometimes I like to see what they're wearing and then wear that on myself. There's also this video game called The World Ends With You. I played it a long time ago but I remember being really inspired by that. A lot of stuff in that video game was based on fashion so if you wore different fashion things you could see it in the game and it like affect your fighting. I don't have that game anymore. I think I traded it in. Why did I do that? Oh no, so much regret. Anyways, I think that covers it for fashion. For hair, I guess it's kind of the same as fashion. I get like really inspired easily by whatever I see. Like if a guy's wearing a cool ponytail or a super cool man bun, I'll be like... Just texting, not taking a picture at all. And it's the same thing with girls, if they have a hairstyle that is kind of unisex and I can pull it off, then I will take inspiration from that. The half up top knot that I like to wear sometimes, that is actually inspired by seeing a bunch of girls wear it. Mostly like 16 year old white girls wear it. I'm also watching America's Next Top Model right now and there's this guy called Mikey on it. He's like six foot tall, he's got really long straight blonde hair and he's kind of an asshole. But I like to see the different looks that they do with his hair every single week. 
feet. Back when I had short hair, I actually got inspired by looking at pictures of guys with long hair to get inspired to grow my hair longer. There's this guy called Brock O'Hearn on Instagram. He has like this big brown like ginormous crazy hair that's super long. He looks like a real life version of Tarzan. He rocks the man bun so well I got super inspired by him to grow my hair longer. Back then I would google image search guys with long hair or Asian guys with long hair and there's so many pictures of Asian guys with long hair that just look super badass. Here's some pictures I was inspired by back in the day. There's a bunch of Japanese samurai with long hair who would wear it in like a top knot or a bun and there's also a bunch of Chinese guys from the dynasty. They would all grow their hair super super long and I thought that looked kind of cool. Apparently it had something to do with your hair is like a part of your body and it's like given to you by your parents so it's kind of rude to cut your hair off. I don't know I kind of know a little bit about that subject so maybe I'll make another video about that some other time. And just like fashion, anime is another thing that I'm really inspired by. Anime hair is fucking crazy. Ah uh, the styles are so cool and I wish that anime hair could just look like real people hair but it can't. I'm pretty sure you've seen him on my YouTube banner but uh Jin from Samurai Champloo. To be honest I haven't seen that anime. I will get on that. I'm sorry for tricking you all. And the guy at the very end of my videos I think he's from K Project. Another anime I have not seen yet. I'm sorry, I'm such a fraud. And for now, those are the things I can think of on the top of my head that inspire me fashion-wise and hair-wise. Fashion and trends and all that stuff, that stuff changes so much and I, my tastes also change as well. So maybe in three months I might be dressing like completely different, my whole style could have changed. So if that happens, I'll actually make an update video and let you guys know. Anyways, if you guys have people that inspire you fashion-wise or style-wise or hair-wise, uh, leave it in the comments because I'd love to know. I can also get even more inspired and my fashion sense can be even more drastically changed and influenced by everything. And as always, like this video if you liked it, subscribe for more weekly updates on videos. And I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!